Right, so I'm here reviewing the lint remover, the portable lint remover. As you can see, you can get these on Facebook, eBay for really cheap. Then I got two for three pounds, and we're gonna see how these fare against the grottiest of cars. So, stay tuned. So here we're going to test out this lint roller, not lint roller, here we're going to test out this lint remover, hair remover, as it's, um, as it's advertised. We're going to put it through a few tests. We're going to put it testing at this absolute carnage show. So even if you have a hairy dog or a hairy relative, like a very hairy granny, <laughs> this should be able to supposedly remove the hair, which hoovering alone can't remove. Also going to test it on mats and we're gonna test it on the floor as well. So let's see how we get on. Here we go, so once you hoovered out the majority of the dirt in this car, you can then use these little things um, just to get in these little grooves because they do work. You can move all the dirt out into the center then hoover it up because this stuff is really stubborn, especially on strong hoovers. But as you can see, you can get quieter in there Follow the contours of the car and move it into the center, then hoover it up. For this part, I might need a brush to get that out because that uh, doesn't quite fit. I'll be here all day. There you go, down there. It's nice having this shape because this shape works around all the corners. Put on the floor, back in the middle. And look, it's even generating the... Uh, the clumping of hair, which is great. What I really need is a brush to do that. <laughs> but um, there you go. So here's a mat, which has not only dirt, but hair on it as well. I haven't even hoovered it. It's just straight up the car. So let's see how this handles hair and dirt. What I'm expecting is this to move everything into a small pile so I can quickly hoover it up. Dislodge any stubborn stuff which is stuck to the sheet, uh, the mat. So already, just from the top, a few passes. A lot of that's gone. It's moved to the center. I like this. Let's switch this around the other way. And go again. I can already see it's moving the hair off off the mat before I've even hoovered it. So let's bring it all into the center. See the sand, the sand is a very tricky to get rid of because it, it never grips to anything. It just jumps around, and dodges um, even your hoover, the end of your hoover, it just seems to be unstable. But hopefully it's, look at that. It's brought it all to the surface so we can hoover that off. Yeah. So let's get the hoover. That's what I need to get the hoover. Just scoop, scoop, scoop. Oops. That's all right, put it on that mat. Let's have a so let's have a look. I'll give it a shake. That's not too bad. Didn't even use the hoover or a brush, just that. Now this thing is horribly stained. This will need a wash. But before I've washed it, I have got rid of all that dirt, all that loose dirt. That is pretty good. Considering how it looks like this before. That's just with a few scrapes. So now this will have to be washed. Okay, so let's give it a go. Let's do this side with this. And we'll do this side with this. This is my brush, which I use. Quid, home base. Quid, B and Q. Um, for that side, so let's go. Let's uh, try to go right at the back. Oh my god. Looks like Santa Claus's beard. Hey, that's, that's not a bad start. Let's keep going. 
Well, there you go. Very good. Let's go again. Notice all the sand is jumping up as well. That, that means I can hoover it up. I'm gonna go the other way really quickly. So let's just summarize this first part. Brilliant, absolute brilliant. I mean, I'm about to show you the difference between using one of these so be careful of this grid here. I mean, for just experimental purposes, that's the difference. So, put that over here. Let's try this brush. Oh my God. I think I know for a fact this isn't gonna work very well, but. Okay, I'm surprised. It's actually working very well. Ooh, game on. Already feel the <laughs> um, well, that was quicker. So we get this bit. I can feel that the prongs on the brush are getting full and have to be emptied. Go again. Right. So. I can uh, quickly summarize what's going on here. This is better because it doesn't leave your brush clumped up with hair. It just piles it into a corner and then you can just flick it off, flick it off. This fills up, which means you spend a long time doing it. I mean, it may look as if I've got a lot of that hair off and I have, but the time it takes to remove all that hair. So I give this first round, so this one. So the second round is this stuff here. This is on the side wall. This is very challenging to remove because it's, the hair has gone lodged in sideways rather than just rested on the floor. It's, it's kind of ripped, kind of slotted itself into the, fab, the fabric of the um, carpet. So let's see how we get on. Again, left and right, up and down. Well, there you go, I got about 70% of it off. Now let's just use this. I'm now inside the car. Oh, that just feels so much better. Yeah. It goes down, it goes down, it goes down, it goes. The good thing about this is I can always spin it around and use the other side if I feel like there is clumping appearing on the end of it. But there we go. So, so not only are there less hairs on this side than that side, we did it quicker and with less drama. Right, so let's conclude. The positives of these. They're really cheap. Three quid for two, five pounds for two, I can't remember. Really in budget for anybody who wants to clean their car. Not just their car, but any sort of carpet indoor interior upholstery where hair sits on um what else it's uh uh what are the positives it does the job it removes the hair and things like that um what else yeah it seems to be a lot better than a brush i mean it gets the sand off as well as the hair which means once the sand starts jumping you can then hoover it which is a uh, which is a problem we have with brushes. Brushes seem to just cast over the top of embedded sand. Uh, thick brushes can get it out, but this just does it. You can quickly switch between a, a hoover and, a, and one of these very quickly. So you can just do that, then hoover it up and go again. It just seems to be more mobile. It seems to be an easier way of doing things. It seems to be strong and sturdy. I mean, it doesn't bend or flex or anything like that. So when you're going for things, it really, it really does a good job of getting in all these little gaps and what have you. Let's get this stuff out. 
And it's made very short work of this thing. I mean, I've got a few hairs to go, which I'll do, but I'm sure you the befores and afters of what happened. Um, any other positives? Um, uh, that's it, really. I mean, uh, I'm going to move on to the negatives now, because this is quite important. These things don't last. I mean, I've used this, what, once now? Twice? And it's already bending. Um, this is the one I had before. Not only do these blades fall off and bend, so you can't stick them back in again. They're really dainty. Look at that. Same with this. The handle. This comes out. Well, my old one, which is broken as well, this bit pops out as well, so these fall apart really, really quickly. I'm not saying you can't repair them. I mean, you could use a bonding agent and stick that back on, because it will clip back on. This thing has a, look at that, but I can probably just get that back on if I bent it back on. And the handle comes out as well, so the handle falls, and this has two metal bits that go in there. You can glue it back together again, providing you don't break the bits. Um, the biggest warning, I'd have to say is this is very aggressive. Um, don't use it on things that you like, like your clothes. I mean, look, listen to that. You think that's going to uh, be forgiving on clothes? No, it will, it will damage the fabric over time. Uh, it's fine with cars, things like that, because you're going to get wear and tear more often on a car. But on fabric or a carpet that you like at home, be warned, this thing is very aggressive. But to conclude, love it love this product even if they do fall apart you can repair them and bend them back into place again if there's a better quality one i'd definitely consider getting more or purchase that one um, very good product it doesn't quite replace a brush you do need a brush to get in the corners as this thing will uh, can they do so much because of the shape maybe in uh new shapes and design maybe you can have three maybe you can have one like that a thinner one like a paintbrush style one like that um and maybe a huge one, <laughs> like a massive paint roller, so I can just do this in one go. I don't know if that'll work. Um, but that's it, hope you like the video, like and subscribe, and let me know your thoughts, take care.